Once upon a time, on a beautiful country day, the birds weren't singing, the fish weren't jumping, and there was not a hopping rabbit to be found. For everyone was gathered to celebrate two very special people at what can only be described as a storybook wedding. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Well, that was dumb. Welcome, friends. We are gathered here today to join B and Thomas <laughs> in holy matrimony. You're taking this so well. He's a good man, makes her happy. And also a special day for their family, the beloved mm. rabbits. Your former enemy is here to stay. We found common ground. He's about to be our guardian. Ah, this is just a little something between them. The old you would have gone absolutely bonkers berserk by now. I've changed, cousin. Welcoming a new parent. A loaded hand grenade just waiting to explode. Not anymore. A father, if you will. Father? Father. You're not my father! You may now kiss the groom. <laughs> So B and Mr. McGregor were married, and off they went on their honeymoon. Things couldn't have been more peaceful in Windermere until sometime later. You just take this out. You see? Now, you try. Dad, it's Peter Rabbit from the book. Oh, I hate that I'm the face of this. But every story can only have one good guy, so... Peter doesn't have a dad. He got put in a pie, that's why he's so naughty. What? And there's Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail. I'm Flopsy. And I'm Mopsy. And I'm the hero, but I'm not naughty. Did this kid even read the book? Did you read the book? I am so busy. I'm saving it for summer. Are you the author? I'm still getting used to people calling me that. It's really the rabbit story. I just wrote it down. This is my husband, he's our publisher. Well, oh. I wouldn't say publisher, I just, uh, I just do the typesetting, turned our dining room into a printing workshop, created the artisanal lithography with a five color palette for the illustrations, apart from ones in the garden, which call for more green. Oh, I like don't reveal all your secrets, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wonderful. You paint the rabbits with such love. Well, it comes naturally. It's our family. Thanks for your contribution. It goes directly to preserving their land. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Our 
afternoon. Congratulations, you two. Thanks, Moira. Oh, the mail. Choose to see who gets it. Just. <clears throat> How does he always win? Because he invented the game. Peter? Is that you? Johnny? What are you doing out of London? We're just up here doing some cheese tasting. <laughs> Heard about the wedding? Any babies yet? It's only been a month. <laughs> the wife and I have had 15 kids in that time. This is the first day away from them and oh, the peace and quiet. I'd, I'd be lying to you if I said we didn't miss them terribly and they're all we talk about. Oh, cute. But there's no babies. We're their family. Until you're not. <gasps> Congratulations on the book, by the way. My kids absolutely loved it. Oh, it's not about me. It's just great that kids get to read about positive role models. Like me. <laughs> Peter! <gasps> oh. oh dear, my cheese. Well, good luck. I'm sure it was just an accident. It's not an accident. It's what he does. He never behaves. He loves you. Don't listen to him. He doesn't listen to me. That's the problem. Not in front of him, OK? He can't understand me, can he? No, but still, does so, If he can't understand me, then why can't I say something nice? I'm scared. 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 You handled that very well, Peter. Contrite, apologetic, and even a little bit remorseful. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I put these in for when I'm feeling misunderstood. Oh, come on, Peter. Sometimes you have to face the music. Oh, and these are for when I'm feeling ganged up on. You always take things one step too far. I'm sorry, what? What's this? Basil Jones Publishing. We carried a whole section of their books at Harrods. It was the last display I arranged before I resigned. You mean fired and physically removed from the store? Potato, potato. It's from Nigel Basil Jones himself. He wants to publish my book. No. Uh, get it in every bookstore, promote it, put it in different languages. That's incredible. B, you've done it. This is it. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> Promise me something. When this book is a huge success, you'll keep me humble. The book is about all of us. Oh, thank you. You're already doing it. Dink. Mm. Why do you always copy everything I do? Fine, I'll do something different. Oh, oh sorry. Anyone hungry? Yes, yeah, yeah. darling. Leave it with me. OK, take one bite and pass it around. I'm just going to wait until we get home where the food isn't decomposing. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Well, la dee -da. I didn't realise I was with a bunch of sophisticates. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Let's go get some dinner. Yeah. And there they go, right through the opening where there once was a gate. Good for them. Do they do any of the planting and weeding and watering? No, they don't. But they were here first. Exactly. And you still have your tomatoes. My tomatoes. <laughs> I would never have thought a sissy man would like to garden that much. I even heard he wants to try and sell them at market. Mm. It's too moist. I'll get the hairdryer. It's about time he had a hobby. I just hope he's as successful at his as I am at mine. And what is that? Passing judgment. What is going on with her hair? 